is a good event. Um, in that same year, in 2013, uh, Linka Clayton also um, did a, a talk, and Linka was also part of flight school. Um, and this event was actually in partnership with our CSA PGH program, um, which was something that I started with three other co-founders. And um, so Linka at that event actually talked about her project for the CSA. Um, but I'm going to hand it over to you, Lenka, to share your screen. OK, thanks. OK. Can you see that OK? Perfect. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much, Casey, for inviting me. I'm so happy to be here. Um, <clears throat> So I have worked as an interdisciplinary artist for 22 years. Um, 10 years ago, I gave birth to my first child, Otto. And two years later, I had my second child early. And I can honestly say that nothing has been the same since. When Otto was eight weeks old, I took part in the Pittsburgh Biennial at the Carnegie Museum with a work called Maternity Leave. This white plastic baby monitor was set on a pedestal in the middle of an otherwise empty room, and it live broadcast the sound from Otto's crib three miles down the road. The duration of the exhibition I negotiated at the Carnegie gave me the equivalent of the British government's maternity allowance, which is financial support that's offered to, the, the, offered to new parents that I'd be eligible for if I lived at home in England rather than in Pittsburgh. The payment was announced on the didactic text on the wall at the museum, and which provoked many conversations with visitors as well as the museum staff who were also not paid uh, maternity leave at the time. That project led me to create an artist residency in motherhood. Before I had kids, I'd often go on artist residencies. And then once I had babies, I realized that I was no longer invited. Residencies are about escaping from everyday life, um, a situation that I found myself pretty much trapped inside. I realized that paying close attention to this wild world could be a rich source of inspiration. And I declared my life as a parent as the world's first artist residency in motherhood. This is what I think about when I think about an artist residency. And this is what my residency looked like. To get started, I wrote a manifesto, I applied for funding, I appointed friends as mentors, I put up a sign on my studio and I made business cards, one for all of us. On the back of my business card to remind myself what I was doing, it says that for 227 days, the fragmented mental focus, exhaustion, nap length studio time, and other distractions of parenthood, as well as the absurd poetry of time spent with a young child, will be my working materials rather than obstacles to overcome. The residency created a frame around things that were happening in my life anyway and invited me to consider the struggles of parenthood as material to make work out of. So the harder it was, the more material I had to work with and I felt like a millionaire. This is a short clip from a series of videos called The Distance I Could See From My Son, in which I try to measure an emotional distance with imperial. And this piece is called 63 Objects Taken Out of My Son's Mouth. When I was pregnant, I'd Google artist mothers and found almost nothing, just a single piece by Mary Kelly made before I was born. So as I made work, I posted it online so that if other parents were also Googling, there would be something for them to find. This is a book I made that I distributed to other people who were 
currently stuck at home and not able to visit exhibitions. Like children, the works made their own way through the world. Here's 63 objects in a two page spread in Russian Esquire magazine. My English grandma actually found out about this project over her daily telegraph one morning. So um, as the work and the ideas traveled, people started emailing me and asking if they could also do an artist residency in motherhood for themselves. So on Mother's Day 2016, I made this website which shares instructions to empower anybody to create their own unique residency program in their own homes and lives as parents. Today, there are over 1,200 artists in residence in motherhood in every US state and 72 other countries around the world, including in Albania, Egypt, Kazakhstan, Rwanda, South Korea, Spain, Ukraine, Venezuela. You can go on the website and click on the map and see people's work. Last year, we wrote a book together. Mother's Days is a, a book co-authored by 82 artists in residence in motherhood, working in 17 countries who each documented the minutia of their days on the same day, July the 15th, 2019. Actually, Candice, who I saw is in the audience, is, is one of the writers and she wrote a beautiful account. Um, Casey, I think, is going to share the PDF in the in the chat if you'd like to download it and read the book. Now, when you Google artist parents, there are millions of examples through the hard work of, of so many artist parents, and I'm really grateful to be in the community. Thanks. Uh, hang on, stop sharing. Thank you.